Hey everyone, Shannon Meddy here. I am with one of my favorite people, Angie. She is founder of Coconut Kitchen here in town locally, and she's known around town as the Coconut Lady. So if you've ever been and seen her stuff in Whole Foods or Lucky's or some of your doctors and alternative health practitioner offices, you will see these awesome products there. I, uh, we met each other at a charity event, and when I looked at her, her products, I was so impressed. And you know how our family has a lot of food allergies and food sensitivities, and we're always looking for mm -hmm. healthy products that are super clean mm -hmm. and also taste good. And you have done that with these products. This Thank is you. the most beautiful coconut butter and flavors I have ever had. And I'd love for you just to share um, just your story and how, how you, you were led into coconut Gosh, butter. You know, it's so, it's, it's, it's interesting the journey that life takes us on. Um, three days after I was 29, I uh, had a heart attack. And wow. um, at the same time in the cath lab, through the blood work, I found out that I was newly pregnant with my first child. Wow. So. It's a major, couple major life events right is, there. It is, it yeah. is. But I think because those two things happened in tandem, yes. it was really a blessing. And I started reading about food and how I can heal my body through food okay. because I wanted to be able to be that active mom yes. for my kids. Yes. Um, and next thing you know, I find out about coconut. Wow. Um, and there really truly is, if you look at all of the, the, the research and all of the potential benefits of coconut, mm -hmm. um, there really is no no other single food on the face of this earth that has the potential, the healing potential that coconut does Absolutely. for all sorts of people. Yes, yeah, inside and outside the body. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it was a no brainer for me. I became, you know, quickly obsessed with it. Right. Um, but you know, the doctors recommend, you know, to, to use it as a health supplement, three, three and a half tablespoons of coconut oil every day. And right. although some people, <laughs> right. like, like me, <laughs> you are happy drink eating coconut oil straight off the spoon, it just wasn't, it wasn't my thing. Yeah. Uh, and so that's when we started taking the meat of the coconut, the flesh, and pureeing it and creating these coconut butters. So it is similar to an almond butter or peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So it's got all the benefits of the coconut oil, right? Um, but it's got more substance and it allows us to do different flavors, super versatile, and quite frankly, I was very happy eating this straight off of a spoon. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> this definitely tastes, tastes better than just the, the pure coconut. Yeah. But, um, okay, so dark chocolate is my favorite. Yeah. I know um, your absolute top seller is this one, That's is it? right, that's okay. right. So this is our toasted coconut, and this is especially is um, very unique. Nobody is doing anything like this. Uh, we actually toast the coconut um, before we puree it into the butter, and so it brings out a certain nutty quality. Um, and then we put a little bit of vanilla and a touch of pink Himalayan salt. Awesome. And, um, just a little bit of stevia. Oh yeah, and I love that it's not too sweet with the stevia, but the other thing I'm always talking about, we need clean stevia, right? As, as um, low ingredients in, as possible, as pure as you can find when you do liquid stevia. I don't like the powder. And mm -hmm. that's what you do too. Absolutely. So it was so fun that she really cares about mm -hmm. the quality of the ingredients she's putting mm -hmm. into the product. And so that matters to me yeah. and that should matter to everyone. Absolutely, so, and you know, for me, this you. is about, this is about my health and the health of my family. Right. And you know, I have a son with Lyme disease, which we've treated wow. significantly through, you know, natural means sure. and uh, diet is, right. is huge. So this is, this is personal, yeah. you yeah. know, it's not just trying to sell something. Yeah, it's absolutely. personal. Absolutely. And we are so, we're so thankful that you do this because it makes a difference for our families too. So we're going to add a link above the video and um, let you find out where her website is. You can find it locally in our mm -hmm. local stores, but you can also buy directly to her if, if you're outside of St. Louis and, and definitely start following her. She's going to be doing lots and lots of videos like this and sharing all of her knowledge and her, her value with you of, of what's made a difference for her health. And she has more stories about that too. So it's going to be fun to, to kind of dig in deeper to that. And then some of just real quick. So let's just tell them what flavors you have. Oh, you. great. So this is our lemon zest. It is, it's fabulous. Um, I 
love doing like blueberries. I'll melt a little bit of this oh, over blueberries mm -hmm. and maybe put some chia seed and mix it up Yum. and eat that as a snack. Okay. Um, this is our naked over here in the green, which okay. is just one ingredient, which is organic coconut. Um, this one right here is a chai cashew. So we actually roasted some cashews, and so it's it's actually a cashew coconut butter. Oh, yeah. And then we've developed a a chai spice blend that we make. Okay. And so this is one of our seasonal items. Fun. Okay. Um, this is a mocha espresso. This is one of my very favorites. Oh, yes. It is like coffee chocolate. It's amazing. Um, and obviously we've got the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I love to put this, I do um, a decaf sort of maca drink in the morning and mm -hmm. I love to put a big tablespoon mm -hmm. of that in there. Mm -hmm. It flavors it really well. And all of the flavors that we've spoken about before have, have no refined sugar, Wonderful. no added sugar at all. The one exception, and this is for our people who have a little bit of sweet tooth, which still not high in sugar, um, but this is our cinnamon raisin. It's essentially like an oatmeal cookie. Okay. So it's got toasted pecans, raisins, cinnamon, a little bit of gluten-free oats, um, vanilla, um, and some organic brown sugar. Uh, and great. so that's great. That's well, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story and please check her out. She is yeah. one to watch. So we'll see you soon.